field control. And now the puck is uh, up and uh, free for finally the Islanders to take possession. Crisscrossing through center ice. Here's Gallant back in. There's a shot, scores! Kieran Gallant from 55 feet is going to beat Russo to the glove side. On the Islanders' second shot, and they lead 1 0. Well, a couple of big saves at one end by Nico Boudreau, and then it's the captain, the heart and soul of this team, Karen Gallant. Just all work ethic. Picks the puck up at center ice, makes a couple of moves, takes it in, and through traffic, sends one through a floater that Mattis Rousseau, I would think, would love to have back. Is that one from long range? Beats him low on the glove side, the second shot of the hockey. The goaltender, Boudreaux, he's not, he's not giving up an inch here. Shot, they score off the blue line. Again, that's McKinnon, back-to-back -back games. As he fires it on the net, and it finds net in back of Boudreaux in the final 11.3. That's Dume. Gets a redirection, a piece of it, and we talk about getting through the 32 seconds. They can't get through it. Had a chance to get the puck deep, couldn't get it deep. Lost the face off. Fourth line out against the top line. Burns them, tied at one. So McKinnon lets it go from about 62 feet. And it's off a stick, it looks like in front. Is that to May? We'll wait for the check. Wide off the left wing, Cataford coming late. LaRue, top of the right circle for DeMay. Back high to the slot. Little fake uh, attempt, back for DeMay. Ice wide, laid off in front, tapped home as simple as that. Tic-tac-toe and that's the show for Halifax. As uh, Park right off in front, it'll be DeMay, and as well, Cataford combining, and LaRue, three explosive offensive figures for Halifax, and that one didn't take long, uh, 30, yeah. 31 seconds in. The Islanders had a chance at one end, and then they go cross ice, and I mean, Cataford, pass in front, wide open. Tap in on the back door. I mean, just there, nobody's there. Wide open, pass on his tape. It's going to be Kiersey. It's up over his stick. There's going to be Boucher feeding it off in front. The shot scores up top. Bit of check. As the goaltender, Nico Boudreau, doesn't see that one. So the offense for the Halifax Moosehead starting to light it up here. Uh, 3 0 2 this uh, second period. They've got a couple. They scored in the final uh, 11 seconds of the opening period. So over the last three and a half. Minutes a player, so they've got three in the board. I just saw the guy wide open, even Vinicek in the middle of the ice. There's nobody near him. Boucher, nice little move, slides it across. Vinicek, top of the hash marks. The to top of Lindsay, he tries to get a stick on it. He's standing. It depends what part of the cycle you're in. And this is now a shot scoring by Halifax. You pay the piper in the rebuild, and that's a 4 1 lead very quickly. Fournier is going to bury that one uh, on a shot, so it's 4 to 1 in favor of the. Halifax Mooseheads uh, yet to reach the halfway point of the hockey game. That goal coming at 5-11. Clean face-off win by the Mooseheads for Brady Fournier and a quick shot that beats Boudreaux on the blocker side. And you're wishing that it was the third period. It's close to, uh, it's in that minor pro category. There's no doubt about it as far as quality is concerned. McKinnon now resets it behind his goaltender. Rousseau and bringing it back is Catafort. Two on two the other way. Tries to dangle, chips at it. Save made again. Puck is still loose right off the goal line, reaching for it as Nico Boudreau to hold on with 12.24 left. I'm going to say it went in. I don't know how it went in. Uh, how does that go in? Vitacek is skating to the uh, bench here saying he's going to take credit for it. We'll have to see it under review here. I thought, uh, again... Piercy falls in on him. Bucks bouncing around. I think it definitely went in. Jack Flanagan's coming in here now for the Islanders. Okay, so it does uh, trickle over the uh, goal outside, top of the left wing circle, drags it high, that midpoint, drops it off for McKinnon again. He's had success, scores McKinnon again. Jeez, last night, tonight. His deflected shot is uh, going to get by Boudreau in the opening period. And this one is a grip and rip high to the glove side of Flanagan who doesn't see it. Six to one. 
Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a tough one to come into. Quick shot through traffic. First one on Flanagan, high on the glove side. McKinnon's got, uh, he's got uh, three. He likes playing the Islanders. He's got three uh, head Horth lined up. He enjoys contact. Yeah, he does. Right back in again is Morneau. He lays it back for Kiersey, tries to feed it in front. They score! The Islanders are on the board. Kieran Gallant, Kiersey combining. See, uh, looks like the feet is off in front. Kiersey could get credit for it here. As he tosses one to the front of the net and in off, possibly. He went off the Moosehead defender. It dropped off, and yeah, hit the defense. On the way through was it Schultz. Kiersey with his uh, second. It's Martin, Jack Martin off his skate. Through the legs of Matters Rousseau. And that makes the scoreboard a little bit more respectable. Still uh, top a leg. Back again to the blue line. Phillips. High to the right point uh, for Furlong. Mid uh, blue line. Vitacek stepping in looking for his third. The save made. And it goes in. A bit of an alley-oop shot. That it looked like Flanagan made the save on initially. But it gets up and over him. Over his uh, shoulders. And in back, and it's a power play goal, 7-2. Seven, seven, yeah, McPhee parked in front. I mean, they have Vitacek on because he's looking for the hat trick. But it hit Braden McPhee in front, deflected up and over top of Jack Flanagan. Uh, caught him right in the glove. 